Hi, so welcome back to another video on the channel. Thanks for joining Crypto Trading Hub. As always, guys, we are back with an update, another update, this time about District OX. So let's get right into it. A lot of people are having the question, is District OX done? Is it going up? Is it going down? What's next? That's what we are going to try to answer in this video, guys. Guys, as we, have, as we saw this big, big push to the upside, guys, we saw some immediate drops. This was a result of Bitcoin having like pumps and dumps because of the Bitcoin ETFs and a lot of selling pressure, buying pressure. But as of right now, guys, we are seeing some very, very boring uh, sideways movement. Uh, no, not, not really any exciting stuff. But the very good thing is, guys, is we have established a very, very strong support level over here. With multiple touches of support, we can see one over here, one over here, 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 here. At least, at least nine points of uh, at least nine points of support. So this is a very, very, very huge support level, guys. And if we see here in the in the past, when we held this support level right here, so we saw a push all the way to fourteen seven nine. And even if we look to the top, it we are at nineteen seven four. So almost at point twenty. Of course, guys, as of right now, we are seeing this boring sideways movement. But if we have if we just have a macro look at uh, District OX as of right now, guys, we are we are we are seeing that this happened in the past as well. With this with this big push that happened over here, guys, if we are seeing we saw a big push all the way to uh, 0 0.05 and then we saw a drop. A push, a drop, a push, and then a very, very, very long and boring sideways movement. If we compare it to what's happening here, it was indeed a push, a drop, push, drop, and then a very, very boring sideways movement. Before we saw then a triple, so a 3x or even a 4x uh, to the upside. So could we, are we seeing, uh, am, am, I, am I saying that we are going to see something like this? I'm not saying for, for certainty, 100% sure. But uh, how, it, how I'm looking at it right now is that we are still in a bullish momentum because we didn't drop below these levels over here that could uh, bring us into a very, very bearish territory uh, that will bring us to a drop of, a, of maybe 10% all the way back to 0 0.005, maybe somewhere around here for 0 0.06. This would be a bearish diversion as we are like resulting back to this previous supports level over here, which will bring us to an, on a macro lower low or lower high, sorry, rather. But if we look, if we took and look this on a macro level, guys, on a macro scale, we could even argue that there is an ascending wedge starting all the way over here, going this way. Over, overextend it a little bit so we could argue that there is actually an ascending trend still even with all this sideways movement we could argue that there is an ascending trend still if we look at this touch points over here so we have one here second over here almost a third over here now we are having a fourth over here so guys as long as we are holding this support level over here and we are seeing uh, pushes back to the upside because every time we touch it, we see some uh, some reaction back to the upside. It's not as the reactions that we want. Of course, we want to see us at least break above this resistance level over here for us to at least retest this major resistance level over here, resistance levels over here that could uh, push us back up. But the good thing is right now, guys, if we look at the resistance levels that are awaiting us above, those are not huge resistance levels. Those are not resistance levels with huge multiple touches of support. So if we are having some uh, uh, bullish news and some good bull power, we could see an immediate push all the way back around this level of 12 or even 13. That's a very, very, very possible uh, scenario, guys. But as of right now, guys, keep, keep a very, very close look at this support level over here, guys. As long as we are holding this support level, we are still pretty okay. Even if we still continue a little sideways, sooner or later, we will see a retest of this level over here. Because now we are only retesting this uh, support level over here and it's, it's serving as a very, very good uh, support level. Uh, so this is a very good news as there is no liquidations around this level over here. So we could argue that it's more likely than not that, that we will see a push upside to this to this uh, resistance level over here uh, for us to continue back up. If we check our boundary bands right now, guys, they will, it will be a small gate of boundary bands. Uh, where are the boundary bands over here? Okay, we'll add boundary bands. There you go. So as you guys can see, we are just moving sideways exactly at the average of the boundary bands. 
constantly at the average. This is a healthy thing as I always say, if you, because if we overextend outside of the boundary bands, we always see a drop back down to the average over here, but we need to see some movement to the upside so our boundary bands can open up, boundary band uh, gate or whatever you want to call it to open up for us to see a continuation back up. If we just have a close look at this scale here of, of, of the chart, we might argue even that we are seeing a high and then a higher high, a low and a higher low. So if we see in the next 6 to 12 hours another high above this level over here, we could see that we are we could say that we are actually in an uptrend and a micro uptrend for us to continue back up that would be a that would be another confirmation that we are continuing back up as our low here is lower than our low here our low here is higher than our low here the our high here is lower than our high over here so we are looking pretty okay at this point guys there is no uh, there is no uh, need to to panic right now guys everything is still looking pretty okay as long as we hold above this support level over here guys mm -hmm. i will keep you up to date guys on any uh, any news regarding district ox or other coins i will try to update you by the minute if there is any uh, important news so don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications as i will also post in the community post any any small updates that don't require a video so as always guys thanks for uh, for the support and peace out